Hey everybody, welcome to CR and Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create a hard surface design. So, without further ado, let's get started. To create a design, we are going to use the cube. So, Shift A, add the cube. Then, you need to scale this cube along the x axis and z axis, as like this. After that, you need to apply the scale on the model. So, just Ctrl A and then apply the scale. The next thing, you need to go to the red mode and you need to select this corner edges and then Ctrl B and then add bevel on these edges. You need to add a 6 segment bevel add there and give the right bevel width. Then you need to scale the model along the Z axis as like this. The next thing you need to select the faces with the shortest path selection and delete the faces. Then you can select this edge loops and then Ctrl B and then add a bevel on this edge loops. This time you need to add the 4 segment bevel and give the bevel width 0.1. After that you need to select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Select your model and then shift D to duplicate it and make a backup. We will use this base mesh later on so that's why just make a backup of it. After that you need to use the knife tool and you need to create a topology on the model. So just take the knife tool and create cuts on it. It's like this. And just try to create that chord based topology on the model. It's not difficult. Easily you can do this thing. Then you need to select everything and then press I for the insert operation. And you will get the one loop structure add there on its border. You can see it. We want that loop structure to maintain the good form. Then select the faces one more time and use the insert operation to get one more loop structure out there. And now you can see that looks pretty well. Then shift D to duplicate it and make a backup. Now you need to select everything and then you need to use the extrude operation and then you can press Alt S to scale it along its normal. Or you can just use the extrude along the normal. Then you need to add the sub D modifier on the model. So we will get the smooth shading on it. Just share smooth it and increase the sub D count up to 2 in the sub D modifier. And now we need to add more loop cuts on it. So add the center loop cut like this. Now I want to create the cylindrical polyons on the model. So that's why I need to add the cylinder. So shift A add the cylinder and then vertex count will be 12. And now you need to adjust the scale of the cylinder and give the right position to it. Then shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Y axis. Now just give the right position to the cylinder, then shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Y axis. Now one more time shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Y axis. Now you can select the cylinder and you can scale them little bit. So scale it down little bit. And now you need to select all these three cylinders and you need to join them together. Then select these cylinders and then mesh and then use the boolean operation which is difference. And now you can see we got those holes at there. Now just you need to apply the boolean modifier on the model and you can hide these cutter objects. And you will get this kind of mesh. Now I want to create the right topology on the model. So that's why I will hide its bottom part so I can easily create the right topology on its top part and I can take the symmetry. And now we need to first start to clean up this model. So that's why I just select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve these edges. We will create a new edges add there that support the structure for the booleans. So first clean up the model so it will be more easier for us to understand where we need to create the edges that support the structure. Then you can use the knife tool and you can create cuts like this. So create a new cuts add there. Dissolve the old one and create a new cuts add there. As like this. If there will be any double words, so just merge these words. Then dissolve these edges. And use the knife tool and create a new edges and there.
Here you can dissolve the edges and then merge the words. Just try to create the topology with a simple way. So if you are facing the little bit of difficulty at there, so just try to make it simple. How you can do that? Just dissolve these edges and try to find out the way to create that chord based topology. So when it will be clean, you will get an idea that I can connect the words in this way or in that way. So just to do this simple thing and create a topology at there. And you can see how I'm creating this topology. Then you can select these edges and then control X to dissolve these edges. And then select the words right click connect to vertex path and create a path in between the words or you can use the knife tool to create that path. Now just select these words and then merge them and just try to create the right topology at there. How you can create a good topology? It just requires the practice. If you are practicing every day, you can easily improve your understanding to create your topology. So now you can see here I need to add the loop cuts to create the right chord based topology. So just add the loop cuts and then create that topology as like this. Then use the knife tool and create a cut at here. And you can see I have got the face loop at there. And now you can see the model looks really well. Now we need to work a lot on it. So just give the right position to the words and just try to keep a little bit of distance at there. These are like a cleanup things which you want to do, then you can, otherwise you can leave it. But for the good topology, I would suggest you, you should do this. Now I want to create the supporting loop structure for this boolean so we can maintain the form of those booleans. So that's why I need to create that loop structure. So just select these edges and then control X to dissolve them, add another edge loop add there and then select the words right click connect to vertex path and then you can create a right chord based topology add there. Then select these words and then merge them. And same thing you need to do at the bottom side and you can create the right topology at there. So then we can create that loop structure easily because we want the cards on the model to create that loop structure. And now you can see the model looks really well and easily we can create that loop structure. So that's why you need to select these face loops with the shift select and then use the extrude along the normal and extrude it. Give the small thickness that offset amount for the extrusion. Then you need to use the insert operation just to add few loops at there. And now you can see the model looks decent. Now I just need to select everything and then press Alt H to unhide that bottom part. Then select everything, mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the Z axis. And now you will get this kind of form on the model which looks really well. And we can add few more loop cuts at there to maintain the good topology and then good form that smooth shading on the model. So that's why I just add these kind of loop cuts. Now just select this face loop and then use the insert operation at there. And then you can extrude inside like this. And give the small offset for the extrude operation. And then you can add one loop cut at there or you can use the insert operation whichever you like to prefer. And just I want to create a little bit of border design at there. So I'm going to add the loop cut and then press Alt S to scale it along its normal as like this. And you can create that smooth design add there very easily which adds more details on this mesh which looks really well. Now I'm going to use the first base mesh which I have kept in the backup collection 
so just take that base mesh and I want to create the inner part of that model as you can see in the renders. First you need to isolate that base mesh and you can see its topology. I need to create the right topology on it. Then select everything and then press Alt S to scale it along its normal and make sure its scale should be a little bit small in comparison to the outer part because I want to fix it into that outer part so that's why. So press Alt S and then scale it and now you can see that looks really well. And then you can add the sub D modifier on it to manage its curves to the outer part. So that's why I just add the sub D modifier and then adjust the scale. Then you can select these edges and you can press F to fill the gap. And similarly you need to create the right topology on this part also. Then you can add the center loop curve, then select these words, right click, connect vertex path. And then you can select these faces with the shortest path selection. And then you need to use the insert operation at there. So press I for the insert operation. Uh, okay, so now you need to use the knife tool at here and you need to create the similar kind of cuts. And then you can select everything and just deselect these faces because I want to create that loop structure. So that's why I just deselect this face loop also. And then press I for the insert operation to create that loop structure at there. And now you can see it looks really well. We have fixed that inner part into that outer part. And you can adjust its scale and its proportions a little bit. Now I will create a little bit of details on that inner part. So that's why you need to add a few more loop cuts on the model to increase that topology. I want to create the boolean details at here so that's why I need to add the loop cuts. So just add these kind of loop cuts and here you need to select the words and then right click connect vertex path and then you can dissolve these edges to maintain that curvature of the model. And then you can select these faces. So just select these words as like this and you can see the vertex count there is 9. So if we calculate it then you can understand 7 to the 14 and 14 plus 2 will be 16. So that's why we need to add the 16 word cylinder at there. So shift A add the cylinder and vertex count will be 16. And then you need to rotate that cylinder into the 90 degree and then just adjust its scale as like this. And then move that cylinder here, just adjust the scale a little bit, give its right position and right scale. And we are going to use it to create the boolean, that cylindrical boolean. Then move it along the y-axis. Scale it along the y-axis and then you can move it along the y-axis. Adjust the scale. And then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree. And just give the right position to this cylinder also. And then you can select these objects and you can use the boolean operation which is difference to create those boolean details. Then you can apply the boolean modifier and you can hide these cutter objects or you can delete them, whatever you can. And now we need to create the right topology at here. So just select the words, right click connect vertex path and use the merging option wherever it's possible to create that right topology. And same thing you need to do at this side also. Then you need to add a few loop cuts at here. So just add those loop cuts to create that topology. And then select the words, right click connect vertex path and then create that topology on the model. Now just I need to create the loop structure at there so that's why I'm going to use the knife tool and create that loop structure. 
then you can select these words and then merge these words together and now just refine that loop structure and try to give the right position to the words so you can keep the same distance in between these each loops so you will get the even shading at there then you can select these faces and then press i for the insert operation and just add few loops at there and then merge the faces then you use the insert operation and add few bold loop cuts in that boolean details to maintain the good shading and now you can see the model looks really well easily we can create this kind of things and you can see the form of the model which looks really well we have tried to maintain the good design on it and just i want to create a little bit of detail at here so i can select the faces with the shortest path selection and then i need to use the insert operation at there so press i for it and then use the insert operation one more time and then press alt s to scale it along its normal as like this and then add few more loop cuts at there to maintain the good form then you can select these words and you can move these words along the x axis to create that curvness at there and same thing you need to do to the other side just move these words along the y axis and you can add few more loop cuts at there and now you can see the model looks decent now i will use my kit bash part so i'm using the nut and bolts all in one hard surface kit bash you can get this kit bash on our gumroad store just fill the model with the kit bash part and then try to create a decent design out of it so in this way you can create this kind of model which looks really well so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye see you next video take care